congratulations for making it to step two. So this step is probably going to be the hardest step that you have to deal with throughout this whole process. This is the financing step. Um, basically, your realtor, me, will provide you with a list of a number of trusted lenders. Different lenders offer different products. Some of the most popular ones are the 3.5% down FHA, the 5% down conventional, 10% conventional, 20% conventional, and the BA and USDA, which asks for 0%. Down. In order to find out which product is best suited for you and which one you qualify for, your mortgage broker or mortgage lender is gonna have to check out some of your documents. Many mortgage lenders these days have an online application, but if you choose to do it in person, you can meet them in person or you can do it over the phone. So some of the things that you're going to need to bring with you are your driver's license and your social security number. Your mortgage lender or broker is going to have to pull your credit in order to determine your eligibility for these programs. They're also going to have to look at the last two years worth of your W-2s and your tax record. Be sure to bring your most recent pay stubs to the meeting and also they will ask you questions about your bank statements. The lenders will also do an employment verification, so they are going to call your employer at the beginning of the loan and also at the end of the loan. So one of the most important things to do is to notify your lender if you have had any job switches, promotions, demotions, anything. Just if anything changes with your financial status, you have to let the lender know immediately. In order to get to the fun part of the home shopping process, you're going to have to complete this first. This allows the lender and the realtor to realize what is an accurate budget for your house shop. Today's market, most homes require a pre-approval letter with the offer, so you're probably not going to get your offer considered unless you have a pre-approval letter or a proof of funds if you're paying cash. When you choose a mortgage lender, you want to choose someone that you trust and someone who is available. This is a very time sensitive process, so you want someone who will be able to hold your hand and who will be able to answer your questions at a moment's notice. Be sure to confirm with the lender before you get a quote from them what fees they're going to have on the back end and if they're charging you any origination fees, lender fees, or any other random fees that might pop up. In order to get the best rate possible, you can bring a quote that you've already gotten from one lender and show it to another lender and ask them to beat it. A lot of times they're going to do anything in their power to beat that quote and to earn your business. Ideally, try to keep your financial status as stable as possible throughout the closing process. Just don't buy anything expensive like the new furniture for your house, don't buy a car, don't buy anything that you have to put on your credit card that's going to put a dent into your credit. And also, do not get any kind of job demotions or job changes throughout the process. Thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in next week for the third step of the home shopping process. And I am excited to get started with you guys. And if you have any questions, just give me a call or shoot me an email and I'll be happy to work with you. Have a great day.